Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a... Well, wait, we all know the song, don't we? But I wonder if we know what a farm actually is. Well, a farm is a really big plot of land where certain animals are raised and crops are grown. So crops like wheat, which is in your bread that you have your sandwiches with, um, or oats, which is what your porridge is made from. Some of the food that we eat every day comes from animals that are raised on a farm. Now, in this video, we're going to look at some animals that are raised on a farm and we are going to look at some really important and interesting facts all about them. So stay tuned. So the first animal we're going to look at is a hen. A hen. 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 A hen is an adult female chicken or a lady chicken. Now chickens are a kind of bird or fowl. And did you know that there are more chickens in the world than any other kind of bird? How cool is that? Now chickens lay eggs and we use some of their eggs for our breakfast or to bake cakes. Chickens are also raised in farms for their meat. We buy chickens from a supermarket like Tesco and we cook them. And we make lots of tasty food with chicken. Baby chickens are called chicks and on a farm, chickens sleep in a special house called a coop. Chickens eat lots of insects from the ground. They also like to eat worms and snails, and some chickens also eat corn and seeds. Now, I wonder what the cluck of a hen sounds like. Have a listen. Now this is a pig. P -i -g. Pig. P -i -g. Pigs are raised on a farm mostly for their meat. Now, did you know that ham, bacon and pork all come from pigs? And did you also know that pig's hair is very useful? Pig hair is very bristly and so lots of different types of brushes all over the world like paint brushes and hair brushes are made from pig bristles or pig hair. And another cool thing about pigs is the food that they eat. Pigs need lots of different kinds of fruit and vegetables to keep them healthy. Pigs like to eat all sorts of food, such as cooked broccoli, ap apricots, cucumbers, tomatoes, apples, mushrooms, and even watermelon. Here's a fun fact. Now, did you know that pigs can't sweat? Well, it's because they can't sweat that they like to roll around in mud. And it's the dried mug, mud on the pig's skin that keeps them cool and protects them from the sun. Like sunscreen protects our skin from the sun. On a farm, pigs can be found in a pigsty and baby pigs are called piglets. Listen closely to the sound of a pig winking. Here we have a sheep. Sheep are raised on farms for their meat, meat like lamb and mutton. They are also raised for their milk and their wool. The sheep's fleece or wool helps to keep them warm, like a coat helps us to keep us warm when it's cold outside. The woolly fleece of a sheep is cut off by a machine called shears. Shears are similar to the clippers that a barber uses to cut off your hair when you go for a haircut. The wool sheared from sheep is used to make carpets, to insulate or keep buildings warm, and it's also used to make clothes, like your favourite woolly jumper. A 
sheep like to eat beans and peas as well as grass and plants. And because sheep graze the grass most of the day, they help the farmers to keep the grass short. So the farmer doesn't need to mow the grass as much. On a farm, sheep can be found grazing the grass or in a special house called a barn. A baby sheep is called a lamb and a lamb's mummy or an adult female sheep is called an ewe. Can you bear like a sheep? Here we have a cow. Cows are raised in farms mostly for their meat and for their milk. The meat from a cow that we eat is called beef and it's likely that the milk that you drink and use in your breakfast cereal is also from a cow. The cow skin is called cowhide and cowhide is used to make lots of things. Leather comes from cowhide and is used to make leather shoes, jackets, belts, car leather and lots of other things. But similar to sheep, cows graze grass during the summer and eat hay during the winter. And cows also eat grains like wheat, barley and oats to keep them extra healthy. Cows are usually in open fields or in a pen, but when they need to have a rest or just relax, cows like sheep can be found in a barn. A baby cow is called a calf and a daddy cow or an adult male cow is called a bull. Now, I wonder what sound a cow makes. Now we move on to ducks. Well, very much like chickens, ducks are farmed for their meat and their eggs. Duck eggs are larger than chicken eggs and because the yolk of a duck egg is much bigger than the yolk of a chicken's egg, duck eggs are good for making tasty pasta and for making cakes and pastry. Now did you know that we use duck feathers to keep ourselves warm? Well some duvets and pillows and coats are made from duck feathers. Ducks are similar to chickens because they like to eat lots of creatures from the ground. Now, as well as grass, ducks like to eat worms, snails and insects and they even eat frogs and toads. Ducks also eat rice and seeds, oats and lettuce. They don't just eat bread. So maybe next time you feed the ducks at the river, you can feed them some healthy lettuce leaves. Ducks need somewhere to swim and on a farm they can be found in ponds. Swimming in a pond gives the ducks lots of exercise and keeps them healthy. Like chickens, ducks need to be protected from predators like foxes, so at night they are kept safe in a coop, like a chicken is. Baby ducks are called ducklings. Can you waddle and quack like a duck? Now, I bet you didn't know that the hee-haw sound of a donkey is called a bray. If you listen carefully, you can hear a donkey braying. Well, I really hope that you've enjoyed learning about the farm animals with me today. And now that you've watched the video, have a think about what interesting facts you can remember about the farm animals and share them with your grown up. And maybe you can tell them all about some of the interesting facts that you already know. Like what the nose of a pig is called. Now have a think and have fun talking about farm animals and then have a go at writing about farm animals. Bye bye everyone. See you next time.